All right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you different ways to center things relative to an object. So here I've got this little cube made as a component. And so first, kind of the most common thing is I wanna center a cut on an edge. So I'm gonna create a sketch, click on the face, I'm gonna make a rectangle. And this use my midpoint to go from the line to the edge. You notice I drew it off the edge, I didn't draw it on the line. So if I draw it here, now I have to try and figure out like where's that line versus that line. And sometimes that can be a little confusing to, to figure out. So I always like to start just drawing it out here somewhere in space, it doesn't matter. Because once I add the constraint to it, it's gonna move to where I want to go. And you can see it's centered here. And now I have options, do I want to control the width of that, of that slot there? So give it a depth of there. Or I can also control a dimension from there to the edge of the park, how far in it is from the edge. So if I go ahead and change that part later, so let me screw that down all the way, cut it. If I go back to my sketch, I change this width. You can see now it still stays at my one inch spacing on the sides. So that's, that's what I want. I want to do that. If I really care about how wide the slot is itself though, then make sure you dimension how wide. I want that to always be four inches, no matter what. Now changing the overall doesn't affect it all, at all. So center on edge there. Um, if it was gonna do like, let's, if I wanna do a whole center on edge, I can just create a point there and do, do the whole command, whatever, just going to the midpoint of those things. So that's kind of the, the easiest thing. The next thing is centering relative to an edge, but away from it. So if I want to slot over here, but I want it still centered, but I don't want it to touch that edge. So maybe I'll do an actual slot. So I'll do a slot. I'll do a center point slot. Go there, there, there. But I want this to be centered on the part this way. So an easy way to do that is to draw a line and then go from the center of the slot to the origin, which is on the center of the part, or I could go to the center of one of those, midpoint of one of those lines, and now click on that line and make it vertical. And you can see now that that is locked in the middle of the part. I can go ahead and give it the rest of the dimensions I need. And then how far away I want it to be. pull it down and cut it. So now if I make this part different size, that's still staying there in the middle. It's not gonna move at all. Like another way I can make something centered kind of relative to, to some things is because I drew this part on the center of the origin, so I did a center go from the origin to start, I have planes my origin going through the center of my part. So if I draw on one of those planes, so let's say I draw on this plane here, and I project this edge, now I can make a cut. And since I'm drawing kind of in the middle of the part, I can press the slice button to cut through and let me see exactly where my current sketch plan is. It kind of gets rid of everything in front of that. Let's just, let me just see what's going on. So now I can dimension how far down I want it to be, how far in, and now I can extrude. And instead of doing the one-sided direction, I can tell it to be symmetric, pull it out to be whatever I want it to be. And again, that is now centered on the part because the whole part is centered on the origin and this was created relative to the origin. So all those relationships build while I'm doing this. I can also center things on faces. So I go ahead and create a sketch on this face. And so an easy way is just to draw a line side to side and then click on it and turn it into a construction line so it doesn't become part of our sketch. So if I want to do a rectangular thing centered on that, I can just rectangle rectangular pattern, find the midpoint of that line, and there I go. So now when I move this around, it's gonna stay centered on that face. 
So hope that kind of answers some questions on how you can center things up uh, on an edge, relative to an edge, or on a face.